fellow flyers, Dan Johnson here to tell you more about FX1 from Innove Aviation. Proudly made in Italy, as you can see there. Indeed, they uncrated this airplane at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2019, right on the ground. Built it right in front of everybody, and then people, just like me, started crawling all over it to see more about this sleek carbon fiber beauty with its wide, curvaceous doors, and you see a luggage compartment there as well. Indeed, the fuselage body, all carbon fiber, as I mentioned, is a sleek and gorgeous thing, 50-inch wide cabin, also with the engine completely cowled in, beautifully done treatment of the Rotax 912 IS fuel-injected engine. As you'll notice when we walk under the wing here, they're all metal wings and all metal control surfaces, so a perfect matchup of carbon fiber and aluminum, just like the way people know it. If it looks vaguely familiar to you, well, it probably should because this design significantly looks like a flight star. And indeed, this design, the flight star and other airplanes all evolved from a Swiss designer named Hans Gigax, who sort of created this basic shape and look. But Alfredo Di Cesare, the designer of this particular airplane that you're looking at now, has applied that magical Italian sense of design to it and created this lovely in airplane with this gorgeous interior, spacious 50 inch wide cockpit, right and left joysticks as you see on the very outside, center throttle so each pilot easily can control the aircraft, rudder pedals on the floor, uh, single hand brake as you'll see coming back here a little bit. The airplane is just a gorgeous production, like you might expect from anyone in an Italian design. But now, the news is that this handsome airplane, seen here at Oshkosh, went right down to Mount Vernon, Illinois, where the Midwest LSA Expo happens, and they proceeded to just go crazy and get this airplane all put back together again, had the FAA come on out and inspect it, and so here you are, folks. This is special light sport aircraft number 150, and it has gained its FAA acceptance now. There's the acceptance team that won this down at Mount Vernon, where airport manager Chris Collins took very good care of them and yet was extremely proud that the inaugural flight of this very handsome airplane was at the Midwest LSA Expo Airport. That's about an hour, about an hour's drive east of St. Louis. And frankly, I hope you'll come there and be part of that show because it's a good time. Let's conclude here with a few final looks of the FX-1 from Innove Aviation. We sure appreciate you watching.